In this video, I'm going to discuss how to use a bash script in order to exploit multiple systems using MSF CLI. So we'll start by opening up a terminal. And then we'll use ls to list the contents of our current directory. And here you can see that I have an iplist.txt file. This is a text file containing a series of three different IP addresses, each of which are vulnerable to a single exploit in Metasploit. So we're going to create a bash script that will exploit them all at the same time. So we'll use nano and then the name of the bash script, so multipone.shell. And first we want to specify the location of our bash directory so that we can make this file unexecutable. And then we're going to use i to define the local port that the reverse shell is connected to. We'll start with 4444 and then we'll increment it for each exploit that's run. And then we'll use a for loop, so for IP in and then the value of cat and then our IP list.txt file so it'll read that line by line. And then we want to do the following. And we'll open up a new GNOME terminal for each of these different IPs, and then we'll execute the following command, MSF CLI, and then we'll use the exploit that we want to perform on each of those different systems. So we'll use exploit Windows SMB, and then MS08067 net API. Then we want to specify our payload, and set it equal to Windows Meterpreter Reverse TCP. And then we want to specify our remote host as equal to the IP in that loop. And then localhost as the IP address of our Kali system. And then once again local port will be the value of I. And then we'll use E to execute. And then we want to echo something telling us what's going on on the script, so exploiting and then the value of IP address and establishing a reverse connection on local port and then the value of I. And then we want to make sure to increment our I value so that we do have a different local port for each system that's exploited, so I equals the value of the value of I plus one. And then we close out our for loop, and then we have our script completed. So we'll go ahead and close and save that. Verify that it is now in our local directory, and then we want to use chmod to change it to an executable. So chmod777, and then the name of the script. And then we're going to clear out our terminal and then use period forward slash and the script to execute it. And here you'll see that it opens three separate terminals and in each one of these it is going to attempt to exploit one of those three systems. Here in the background you can see that it is listed which of the three different IPs are being exploited and the local port that the reverse connection is going to be established on for that particular system. And after a few moments, you have a meterpreter shell fully functional on each of your three different systems without manually exploiting each one individually. To verify this, we'll use ipconfig. And here we've got our system 199.158. ipconfig over here. And we've got our system 199.157. And then once again on our last shell. And here we've got 199.132. So then you can proceed to do any kind of post exploitation measures on any one of these. So that is how to use MSF CLI in combination with bash shell scripting in order to exploit multiple targets at one time.
And that's it for today. See you guys next time.